Hi, and welcome to StampingSmiles.com. I'm Shelly Godby, the owner and CEO of Stamping Smiles. And today I want to show you a card I made with the Pattern Party and Perfect Punches stamp set. Both of these are retiring on June 3rd, 2013, and so they're available in my online store till then only. But what I want to show you today is my quick tip with the Pinwheel Sizzlets die. Do you follow my stamping blog, StampingSmiles.com? Well, if you do, you know I've been doing the 25 days of retiring Stampin' Up! stamp sets, and today is the third to the last, and it's winding down because so is the Stampin' Up! 2012-2013 catalog. But while looking at the stamp set to wanting to create a card, I recalled the Patio Party paper and, uh, and that there were just things that would coordinate great with this stamp set. And I found this with the little cupcakes and then the pinwheels. And then, hello, got to use the pinwheel. So I've gone ahead and already die cut it with my Sizzix Big Shot. If you don't know how to die cut a Sizzix die in a Sizzix Big Shot, leave me a comment and I'll send you a link to a video doing that. And so sometimes the holes will pop out. They have holes for you in the center and then on each end. And if they don't pop out for you, it's just real easy to quickly do those with the um, paper piercing tool. And right there it is. You need to find one more. Fantastic. And now we'll go ahead and do those folds. Uh, the very first time I got this, I got frustrated with it because I'll tell you what I was trying to do was fold these in without any kind of fold at all. I wanted it really, really fluffy. And I could get three of them lined up, but I could never get that fourth one. My hands couldn't hold down all four. So this is what I've learned to do. I take my paper piercing tool and go to the center. And let's do a soft fold. Not a real harsh crease like I would for a card, but let's do that soft fold and then see now we're getting it to where it'll stay easier and there we go. And it still looks really great on your project because it is fluffy because we didn't do that harsh fold, that really crisp fold. And with that little bit of fold it's keeping some shape for us. So I may not keep them all together but they'll be easy enough to line up in just a bit. So now that we have all of our soft folds, they're almost there. Take your paper piercing, your paper, <laughs> your paper piercing tool and line them all back up. It should be easier to hang on to with those, like I said, with the soft folds that we have. That looks like that one might need. That's looking good, looking good. And I have to tell you, I'm making this look harder than it is. It really is easy when you're home and not trying to stay in a camera shop when you're doing their thing. So now I've got those all lined up. And I'm going to take my brad. This is a Whisper White Brad from the Neutrals collection that are also on sale for 25% off in my online store. How fantastic is that? And put that in the center. There we go. And then, of course, spread those uh, little sprongs, legs, whatever. And there we have it. How cute is that? So you see our soft folds. It's still fluffy. Now let me show you the finished card with it, with the patterned um, party. So here we are with the finished card. Didn't that turn out cute? So we have our pinwheel on our cake, like our designer paper. And this border, see that came from the pattern party stamp set too. Just stamp that in Midnight Muse on a quarter inch wide piece of Whisper White and line that up. And then our happy birthday comes from the Perfect Punches stamp set. And so both of these retiring on June 3rd. And of course the Perfect Punches are designed to be punched out. And I punched that out with the extra large oval. So a quick note about the pinwheel die. This is from the spring catalog. And so you're going to want to go ahead and order that. It's available through May 31st, but Stampin' Up! put a note out today. The online ordering is going to be closed down from midnight on the 31st through noon on the 31st, and then opening it up, and we'll be able to start ordering for the new catalog. So it'll be a madhouse, and it'll make it hard to get those spring catalog products. So please, please, please just go ahead. Do it by May 30th. But even better yet, just go ahead and order that now if you're liking that in my online store. And you know what? The Designer Series paper reminds me of something. I'm having a 2013-2014 uh, paper, a uh, designer paper and ribbon share. And so you can participate in that. So I'll have a link under there 
for you to learn more and then to get a hold of me to say that you'd like to be in that. You need to have your order placed with me by May 30th to be part of that. And I can't tell you how much money this has saved doing my shares, uh, how many conversations I've had and how much money I've been able to save my customers to say, I really want to make that card, but I'm going to have to order that paper. And I say, no, you don't. It's in your share. I want to make that card, but I need to get that ribbon. No, you don't. It's in the share. The share has a generous portion of materials in it, not just a little snippet so you can see it, but a generous portion so you can actually do real projects with it. And sometimes you just want to make one or two of a project that I do, and it's already in the share. I love that I get to say that to them. It's in your share. They're like, oh, thank goodness. So in the long run, it just saved them a bunch of money. So a link to that under my video. Anyway, just so much going on, and I'm just so hyper because things are retiring, and, and then we've got the new coming out. And so go ahead and order what you need to before it gets gone. <laughs> I'm Shelly Godby, teaching you how to create hand stamp smiles. Thanks for watching.